Overcrowding is one of the challenges in the school. Teaching and learning takes place outside for some learners, while others attend in dilapidated classrooms. This classroom used to be a carport and is currently used for teaching and learning. Parents say they welcome the newly built classrooms. However, they are concerned about the conditions the learners are still exposed to daily. She says the problem is the classrooms are not in good condition. They tried with new classrooms that are built, but it is not enough. There's still learners who are learning under bad conditions. There is overcrowding. They are unable to learn when there are a lot in one classroom. We are asking the government to help and increase classrooms. We are grateful to those who build the classrooms, which are at the back. New classes, we are grateful because the kids were learning under a shack. They were exposed to dust and wind. They saw it important to build the two classrooms. It is not safe to learn outside because now it is winter, it is cold, some learners are sick, they have different illnesses, we are close to the airport and most of the time there is wind. To provide improved schooling infrastructure to needy communities, the Department of Public Works, working together with SAFCO, made a significant investment by building these two classrooms. The Deputy Minister of Public Enterprises says they aim to ease the challenges of overcrowding in schools in Bombela. The children, for the first time, they are now having classrooms. And today we open those classrooms for them to come for their learning. Away from the shack that was built for them, covered with plastic and in winter, Obviously, it was very cold for them in summer. The plastic is very hot. And, uh, and they were cramped in that particular space, which used to be a parking bay for cars. And now the children were put there because the classrooms were full. Safco built the classrooms using wood from the trees they plant. The company plans to provide more infrastructure for schools in other areas, including Lipompo and Guazul Natal. I believe that it's the beginning. We have done similar work in the communities um, on different projects. So it's definitely not the last time we're doing this, uh, but yeah, um, we will continue. The private sector has also been urged to assist in rebuilding dilapidated schools in the province. Nhlamulo Mabasa, SABC News, Edwaleni Pumalanga.